So I was at UCLA and I, I, I was living with these guys that were Christian. They were they were fundamentalists, like so that wasn't like my favorite flavor. Right. But like beggars can't be choosers. Right. It was like, okay, I'm here. Uh-huh. I'm showing up. I'm bunking out with you guys, you know? And um uh, I loved Handel's Messiah, right? Everyone does, blah, 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 blah. But that's like all I played. I would just play it over and over again. And like the gay thing was so powerful on the campus. So that's a big seat of sort of the entertainment thing right. and theater arts and movies and TV. And so it's just as kind of a queer campus, uh, among other things. But there were also strong Christians. And I thought, I, I'm like, I am being almost like torn apart in regards to with whom will I identify? Right. right. You know, am I going to go with this crowd or am I going to take roots in the Christian community? No, I I had opportunity. I was with these guys. They knew what I was dealing with and they were supportive and not judgmental of me. But I was listening to the Messiah, you know, that part where, you know, behold the Lamb of God. And the cross was always meaningful to me because I, I think I understood something about about his surrender, you know, the lamb that takes away sin. Mm -hmm. Like I knew what sin was. Not that I was the greatest sinner, but I knew that the disorder was deep. And I didn't split hairs. It wasn't like, oh, I just need to stop doing dumb stuff. It was just more like, this is just deep. And it, 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 it takes nothing less than the blood of God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just kind of knew that. So I remember once in this battle, this campus, you know, sort of the gay thing, the Christian thing, and listening to behold the Lamb of God who takes away the wow. sin of the world. Wow. And I just kind of fell, fell. It was, I was alone. I just kind of fell on my face. And I said, well, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm, I'm going with you. Like I'm, I'm identified with you. Like you, you can envelop me, you can protect me, wow. and you can make a way for me, in a sense, to make that identification with your body. And it's awesome for me to hear you take us to that moment because I've known you on the other side of that moment, and I've seen the power of grace at work in and through your life. But to go back to that moment of recognition that your sinfulness, your broken humanity demanded that kind of sacrifice, and you were saying yes to it, you were accepting and receiving that love from your Savior that changed the whole course of your life. 